everybody it is 9 11 you know what we do around here on fridays we love checking in with our friends from the animal rescue league of iowa especially when we know carrie spain's going to be involved because if carrie spain's involved chances are we're heading to the barn and she has to corral a horse and that's what she's doing right now hi carrie hi lou and what which which little horsey do you have with you today this is scout he is uh Teenage gelding, really sweet guy. He's in training, uh, not trained to ride yet, but we're working on that. But he's a he's a really sweet sweet boy. All right, you said not trained to ride. How long does it uh, usually take to train an animal like this, a horse like this, to ride? Well, it kind of depends on the horse, of course. Um, but if you work with them every day, you know you should be able to get a saddle on in a few months. Okay. Um, you want to. You want to wait till they're a few years old, though. You don't want to start them too young. All right. So uh, this, this animal is available right now at the Animal Rescue League of Iowa. And how big of an area, how big of an acreage do we need to have Scout? Oh, you know, um, if you have an acre, you can have a couple horses. Um, if you're boarding, you know, they have an area big enough for a few different horses would be fine. All right. And if people want to see Scout, is, is, that, is Scout hanging out at the main office? He is. He's at our main location here in Des Moines um, at the barn. All right. So just make arrangements. He is a, he's a, I should mention, he's a Welsh pony. So this is as big as he'll get. And I'm oh, not really? very tall. So you can see he's he's not that tall. Oh, so very, very manageable size, too. So that is really yes. neat. All right. That is really neat. Yeah. All right. Since you're at the barn, I'm sure we have another uh, barn-related animal we could talk about, right? We do. We have several roosters right now. I'll see if I can walk in inside without losing you. Okay. <laughs> I hope you'll be good. <laughs> and we're going to be yeah. looking for Rocky the rooster is the one that we're talking yes. about here. And Rocky is, uh, is it considered old to be six months old for a rooster? Oh, no, that's young. Okay. Yeah, they, they feather out really fast. Um, so he's a young rooster. He's a really nice guy, actually. We have a lot of... <laughs> We have several nice, a uh, few hens and roosters right now. Now, are, so roosters, looking, are roosters available to be adopted uh, alone, or do you like to adopt roosters with a hen? You know, they can be alone. Um, they do, you know, they'd rather be with a flock of hens, but um, they like are what any okay good, alone, too. Like what any good rooster wouldn't want to be with a flock of hens. Exactly. All right. So exactly. It, it sounds like you are getting closer to them because the rooster crows are getting louder. Yes, so here he is, and he's with a, he's actually with his friend. Um, they are both together here. That is, that is really cool. <laughs> he's saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> that is really he neat. Wasn't, he wasn't quite sure what to think of you. <laughs> oh, that's okay, buddy. Now, we'll see if we can get you a good home this weekend, man. Uh, and especially in time for uh, the holidays. You can enjoy the holidays somewhere at a brand new home. That is really neat. Now, speaking of home and holidays, uh, the Rescue League is doing something very, very special, uh, Carrie. Tell everybody what's going on through Sunday with Home for the Holidays. Yeah, so we have any, it's a name your price adoption um, through Sunday. So any animal six months age and up, um, you can come in and name your price and adopt them. All right, so please take advantage of this, folks. This is a very successful promotion the Rescue League does, so you can name your price on the adoptions. Now, we are getting ready to say bye-bye to 2020, and this has not been the greatest year in the world, Carrie. We all know this. And 2020 was the poops, according to the Animal Rescue yeah. League. And you guys have an event happening on New Year's Eve. Tell everybody what that is. Yeah, so we will have some puppies. Um, Pooping, hopefully, <laughs> as they do. Um, well, there. Be... I'll walk out here. Um, no, you're okay. So we will have a big grid of 512 squares, and there'll be some puppies, and they will uh, do what puppies will, you can do. Buy yeah. A to win Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> 
$25 and they have other options too. And you have a chance to win up to $5,000 um, if the poop, puppy poops on, on the square you pick. All right, this is very unique. I kind of like barnyard bingo. We mentioned that last week, uh, but that's exactly what it is. But we're gonna use puppy dogs instead, but you need to get a square in order to be in the competition in order to have a chance at this. What a great, unique fundraiser. And if people want information about this, uh, they just jump on the Animal Rescue League website. Yes. Exactly. And you can buy more than one square. They have different packages you can buy. That's awesome. Yeah, get a bunch of them and then sit back and enjoy it. It'll be happening uh, in the afternoon at 530. It'll be live streaming the event. 2020 was the poops with the Animal <laughs> Rescue League. And speaking of 2020 being coming to an end, uh, how about getting ready for 2021? You guys still have plenty of calendars, right? We do, yes, and they're only $5, so they make great little gifts. Five bucks for Happy Tails yep. calendars. You get a bunch of them. Go there with a $20 bill and, uh, you know, take one or two of them uh, and make another donation to the Rescue League. We're going to go over and grab a bunch of them uh, for friends and relatives uh, coming up at the end of this week, which is cool. But, hey, I want to talk about something else that you guys do. Obviously, we had a horse. We had, uh, you know, the roosters that we talked about. But the Animal Rescue League is all-inclusive, and you take care of all animals. And back in October, you ran across a situation with a gecko, a lizard. Yes. That was most interesting. Uh, and I want to find out what, how the lizard is doing, how the gecko is doing. He is doing great. I just talked to his mom this morning, and she said he's doing great. Um, can, he was very, very thin and cold when they got him. Um, instead of eating every two weeks, they beefed him up, <laughs> which is normal. Every two weeks is normal. So they started feeding him every other day, twice a day, to get weight on him. Uh, crickets and worms to fatten him up, and he's doing great. Okay, uh, the, there's a, the two pictures here. You can see how emaciated the animal Live is in the, in the first photo there. Uh, it's just scary that somebody would have right. an animal like that, but you guys were able to nurse him back to health, and it's in a great home now too, right? Yes, the gal that fostered him fell in love, and she kept, it's actually a, a girl, so she kept her. And the little gecko has a name, Fawkes, which is the phoenix in Harry Potter, is what they named yes, him. So yep. that's what he looked like before. It's on October 15th, and here's what he looks like now. Uh, so it is really neat. That is a healthy animal right there. Big fat tail and a smile on his face. That is so neat. <laughs> All right. So if people yeah. want to get more information about everything that's happening with the Animal Rescue League, including the things we talked about, about Scout the Horse, Rocky the Rooster, about getting calendars, or even getting involved in that competition on New Year's Eve as 2020 is the poops and raising some really fun money for the Animal Rescue League. Again, the best place to go, Carrie, is... Yes, the website, uh, arl-iowa.org. Wonderful. Carrie, thank you so much. You know, for 2020 being as difficult as it was, you always came <laughs> through to help out the animals with the ARL. Please thank everybody over there for us and keep up uh, the great work you're doing. We will. Thank you for your support. All right. Thank you, buddy. There it is, Carrie Spain, live from the Animal Rescue League of Iowa.